Some of you would have seen the Camp Life episode released on YouTube regarding the Onayo Inoue and Stephen Fulton fight. Essentially, it was a bit of a budget version, promotional video for that fight where they went into both teams camps and had a little interview with the fighters, shared some footage of them training and you know the usual stuff and essentially they had some commentators give their opinion on this fight. They were just trying to hype up the fight a little bit and as fans it gives us a little bit of insight into the camp life, hence the name of the episode and essentially we got a chance to hear from the fighters and their thoughts on the fight because we're not really going to hear much more from this point onwards. There may be a press conference but I suppose it's going to be tamed, they're not going to really give too much away. And if you're going to draw any conclusions, I think this Camp Life episode is probably the best place to do it. In a way, it revealed that basically as soon as they won the Undisputed, they were already looking forward and they were already talking about potentially matching up with Stephen Fulton Jr. And Stephen Fulton Jr., on the other hand, he was always looking at Naya in a way. So there was no issues making this fight. Both teams, fighters, promotional outlets, everybody was on board to get this fight done. There was no issues making it. And that's commendable in this day and age for two fighters to want to fight with different promoters. For one fighter to be like, do you know what, I'll fight abroad, no problem, let's get this fight done. Because the champion is travelling abroad and that's commendable because usually in today's day and age, if you're the champion, you call the cards and you make someone come to your backyard. But Stephen Fulton's travelling so I've got to give him respect for that. And going off the interview that he gave um, on this camp life, he's supremely confident. Like I'm the kind of person, I take confidence from other people's confidence. And it hasn't changed my view on how I think the fight is going to go. I still have anyway winning the fight late, probably 8, 9, 10 around there. I've got him getting a stoppage. But essentially, I did take a lot from Stephen Fulton's confidence. I think that he's in a very good place he came across very sound very level-headed it's like he knows what he's got to do he knows how big the task at hand is he knows he's got to climb a mountain in front of him but he doesn't seem phased at all one bit not in the slightest it's almost like he relishes being an underdog and maybe that's going to bring something else out of him so that's one to look out for maybe he'll perform above his usual standard and you know get further in the fight maybe even win it i mean it's not a guarantee that in a way he's going to win but my gut feeling is that in a way he's going to knock him out eventually but andre ward was saying essentially that in a way he's used to people taking his punches and then him seeing an effect of people getting hit by his punches and then him taking confidence from that but he suspects that in this fight when in a way lands a good shot that it's not going to affect Fulton like it would his previous opponents if you know what I mean so Andre Ward then believes that in a way he's going to know he's in a fight and that will determine how the fight's going to go so there's a chance that Fulton may not be affected by anyway's power according to Andre Ward anyway I don't think that'll be the case I think actually to be fair maybe early he won't be too affected by his power but I think once the stamina starts going once he starts draining and getting a little bit tired I think them punches that he will maybe ride in you know previously earlier in the fight he may not be able to ride or be as reactive to get out of the way as quick enough and then obviously the damage will come when, when them bombs start landing part of me does wonder how in a way will deal with any adversity if he comes across any usually when he fights in japan he's got everybody behind him the fights normally go his way i think in the donair fight i think he got wobbled in one of the rounds for a little bit and that was really it that's all the adversity he's had throughout all of his home fights so he's really comfortable there and he's under pressure to perform he's bringing this guy across the champion He's in front of his home fans and if he can't get him out of there, if he struggles or Fulton starts applying some pressure himself, then I think in a way there's a chance he could like find himself in a situation he's not been in before in terms of the pressure to deliver in front of the home fans and it's not going your way. So it's a new predicament he might find himself in. If he's a champion at heart, and of course he is, we can't even deny that he is, he'll find a way to deal with it. So I'm not too worried about that, but it will still be interesting to see if he does come under fire in front of a home crowd, how he's going to react and how he's going to adjust. Because at times during this fight, no doubt it's going to be like a high-level chess match. You know, there's going to be certain times where you need to think, you need to adjust, you need to move. And um, in a way with the pressure, and if it's not going his way, how will he cope? I mean, that'll be interesting if it goes that way, but I think he'll be all right regardless. I say you can't really get to this level and then not be able to deal with the pressure, if you know what I mean. So that's just me talking out loud. That shouldn't really be an issue. But you never know with these things. I mean, Fulton is going to take in a way into uncharted waters as far as I'm concerned. I mean, unless Fulton goes in there and he loses in the first round or whatever, he, he's definitely going to bring something else to the table. You know what I mean? Like if he goes into five, six, seven, in a way he's going to be facing things he's probably never seen before. Fulton's of a really high level and he could ask some serious questions of Inoue but I don't think it's going to be anything that he's not going to be able to weather if you know what I mean. Tell you what will be interesting I mean I didn't really know this guy was in the team I just found out during this camp life thing but Angel Garcia is, is part of the training team for Stephen Fulton Jr. Now Angel Garcia has got a mouth or a mouthpiece let's say that's probably not really appropriate for Japan and Japanese culture and like the energy they got over there like Angel Garcia is a bit too aggressive or whatever so there may be some interesting things there. If someone from Inoue's team gets involved with him or if he opens his mouth, it may bring some interesting viewing. 
I don't think it will go down well, as I say, it's not really appropriate for that part of the world, from my understanding. I could be wrong, but I don't think they like brash loudmouths out there, and that's pretty much what Angel Garcia is, so who knows. So yeah, I don't even know what, what the point in this video was, to be honest with you guys. I just thought I'd say there was a camp life out there, and I took from it what I took from it. Nothing really changed. I did appreciate um, Stephen Fulton's confidence. Uh, I think he interviews well when he comes across like he's not got a fear in the world, which is commendable, because he's about to go in there with the monster, and he should be fearing. He should be fearing for losing his belts and he should be fearing for getting knocked out it may not happen but it may well happen that's all i got for this one guys like comment share subscribe or don't and i'll catch you on the next one love